Okay, so starting new quarter, we are going to change things up a little bit. If you look at this map here, it looks like we are going to have these bathrooms open by the cafeteria all times now. In order to do that, we have to change a few things for supervision. So first thing that's gonna be is that doorway in the main hallway is going to be closed at all times now. So the other thing is which way is the best way to go to your next class. So if you're in Sheridan's and you normally go to Ms. Sadoff's for math afterwards, typically you would walk down this hallway. Now you are going to have to walk around this way, okay? And vice versa, say you are in Miss Weaver's class and you need to go to Miss G's class, okay? You have two choices. You can go around this way, okay? Or you could go around this way, but this hallway is gonna be closed off at all times. So I'm gonna pause it and Okay, here we are at Miss Morrison's class and we need to get to Miss Olson's class. So we're talking corner to corner, so we can go down this direction, okay, or we can rock around and go this direction. Let's go the direction that most people don't normally go because this will be a new doorway that's open. Okay, so you wanna show them the timer? Fresh start, okay, let's go. Here we are at Miss Reimer's class, 136. So we're in the 100 hallways, okay? So over there, the door is locked and we need to get to Miss Klinger's class, okay? So George is gonna start a timer for us and see how long it takes for us to walk to Miss Klinger's class. So, only about 15 seconds to spare, but if you know that you have to make that walk, which you should only have to do once or twice a day, we're going to walk as fast as we can. We walked super slow, normal pace, and it took us just about three minutes, so totally possible. If you need to go to the bathroom during class, the hallway is going to be divided in two colors to help security know if you are doing what you're supposed to be doing or if you are messing around and not where you're supposed to be. So during class, these bathrooms right here are going to be for this side of the building. So the 100s and 200s are gonna use the bathrooms that we've always been using all year. Now, here is the nice thing, is that now these bathrooms are gonna be open, so the 500s, 300s, gyms, and music rooms now can use the commons bathrooms. Where the red circles are at are all going to be closed doors, um, so you won't be able to go through them and they will be manned by security people to try to help keep kids where they're supposed to be. So teachers, again, if you could pause it and talk about which bathroom they should go and which path they should use for your class. All right. This is Georgia, but we're gonna to refer to her as George for this. George is leaving Miss Reed's classroom and he needs to go to the bathroom. Okay. Hey, okay. And we made it to 
bathroom. Okay, so you just have to walk all the way around. Okay, so here we are again with Georgia. Georgia, you are Miss Keene's class and you have to go to the restroom. Okay, but the problem is, is the doors by Mr. Lambert, they've always been closed, they're still gonna be closed. And now the doors by my room, the 300s hallways, those doors are also going to be closed. But the commons area bathroom should be open all the time. So this is how we would go to the bathroom. We've made it. Thumbs up. We hope our video helped. Remembering the most important thing is that door right between the girls and boys bathroom that we're used to right now is going to be closed at all times. So you will not be in this hallway, this part of the hallway, essentially, if you are a girl and you will not be in this side of the hallway if you are a boy. Okay.